Back after PC Chako's resignation from the Congress, allegations of factionalism within the party in Kerala have come to the fore. That too, just before the elections. How is it going to impact the party and are they doing anything about it? Sneha Koshi reports. <laughs> Weeks after Rahul Gandhi's campaign in poll-bound Kerala, serious allegations of factionalism against the Congress in the state, just ahead of assembly elections. Allegations of groupism against former Chief Minister Oman Chandi and opposition leader Ramesh Chenitala, again out in the open, as former Trishur MP PC Chako quits the party. Congress party in Kerala is working as two separate parties, not one party. Hmm. One is A group, one is I group. According to sources, at least four Congress MPs, K. Sudhakaran, K. Murlidharan, M. K. Raghavan, T. N. Pratapan are upset. Even raising concerns before the High Command against the unilateral decisions on candidates to be fielded, decided by the election committee steered by Uman Chandi and Ramesh Chenitala, among others. No infighting because Congress, nowadays Congress is, it is more unity is there. Yesterday, yesterday there was a meeting. We all discussed and we already expressed our views on the candidacy also. That's, I don't know what is the reason why Chakra quit the party, but it is very unfortunate. But this is not the first time allegations of groupism have been raised. No discontentment in the party. UDF is united. Congress party in Kerala is united. That is an old story. Uh, we had discussed with all the MPs. We had discussed with all important leaders. These coming elections in Kerala are very crucial for the Congress, which cannot afford another loss, especially from a state which has elected Rahul Gandhi. Reactions from party supporters have been mixed. With Sunil Prabhu in Delhi, Sneha Koshi from Tiruvannandapuram for NDTV.